relationships right after these messages. Yeah, baby, slow down the Maybe you're thinking about making an appointment for your annual physical or... Sure. Good morning, gang, hey once morning. again. All right, let's start with you, Dr. Manaya, as we have been. Now, if you're going to schedule an annual exam with your internist, is there a better time of year to do this versus a not-so-good time of year? I think that the better... Right January is the worst month because you've been binging, you've been having... There you go. Yeah. There you go. And you holidays. might even need to be on medication. ...about whether you want doing a cosmetic procedure or an elective surgery for medical reasons. Is there a time to schedule that? There is a bus. And then worst month, July? Oh, July. Yeah. New residents come in. That's longer procedures, longer anesthesia time for you. So you have, you might have a potential of having more side effects. Ooh. Oh, that's yeah. not good. I know, that's not good. Okay, Heath, uh, now, uh, gym memberships. Now, to me, I guess the best month is January, but I would think that that's the worst because it's so crowded. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to Everybody get in. It there. is absolutely crowded. It's actually January and months. All right, worst time of the month for gym membership signing up? That would be March. So in March, Basically, those memberships start to lull. About a fifth of the people that signed up aren't going into the gyms anymore, willing to negotiate as much. Interesting. All right, so you want to renovate your home. When's the best month? The best month to do it. What about the worst time of the year to schedule a construction or renovation? Right, summertime. And I yeah. Exactly. Okay, quickly, Ian, relationships. When is the best month to reignite romance? Next February <laughs> style. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. De December, not a good month? Uh, too much family, too much stress, too much holiday stuff, too many money worries. I think that's a hard time to really create that window for romance. And what about for the single folks? Yeah, best time to date. Hey, April, spring. <laughs> yeah, <come on. laughs> All right, and the worst month, I guess, uh, November, holiday I'm stress. I'm going to say right? the holiday stress. Easy, I know. Well, home, thank you, all guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank We've you. learned a lot over the last couple of days. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, I've you. got all the knees coming up, news you need coming up, and the knees you need, too. You've got you fantastic knees. Yes, you do. You. Plus, we've got actress. <laughs> Taking a look at the headlines, one of the nation's largest pharmacies announced this morning it will stop selling tobacco products in its stores. CVS Caremark will end sales on at Detroit Airport. That it's they just can't, gets worse yeah, and the worse Delta, by the hour. their Delta regional jets, they're stuck. Uh, they don't know if they ran off the runways or whatever, but they're trying to get tugs to pull them out. Oh my gosh! I mean, this is just—it's been pretty ridiculous of a winter already, and with much of the country now in the midst of the severe weather today. Better not to get behind the wheel, as we've been telling you about. In fact, nearly 40% of weather-related accidents happen this time of year in the winter. Okay, but if you got to drive in these con conditions, you want to know how to navigate the slippery roads. Our man Willie, before he left, got the lowdown. Yeah, as you guys said, <laughs> I was Sweet monitoring ride. very closely as I used that expensive car. Bottom line, guys, Corey and the gang at Monticello Motor Club says, don't panic. Be smooth with it. If you're going to stop, just do it very slowly. Jamming on the brakes or the gas, either way, is the most dangerous thing you can do. All right. All right, Willie. Good stuff. I learned a lot. Yeah, good. I got to go into it, not out of the slide. Right. Well, we're going right. to learn something about some comfort food that's not going to put on as we made with USA Today called Take Your Pick. Find out who most people agree with. As usual, Natalie in the lead with 35%. All Willie, right. 31%. I am just getting spanked. There. USA Today, 22%. Wow. You had fun with your answer. Sure, I had fun with my answer. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Do you want to keep voting, though? Want to bring up Al's percentage there? Yeah, Go to today.com. Coming We're up next, Hoda and Kathy Lee and the cast, or the uh, millionaire matchmaker, actually going to help get some couples together. That's right. And we're going to show you how to protect yourself in a house fire, one of the most frightening things you can probably live through. So, But we want to make sure you do. So uh, we're going to do all that coming up with Hoda and Kathy Lee. Try to survive all this weather out there. That's right. Up your local news and weather. Pay attention to the weather.